The leaks from the Ruddock Review are a full frontal assault on same-sex attracted and gender diverse Australians, and in particular, a full frontal assault on LGBTI young people. And it is a tragedy that the, this government is considering furthering discrimination against LGBTI young people. Imagine being a young person at, at a school, you're struggling to come to terms with your sexuality, with your gender identity. Not only do you have to navigate all of the issues associated with that, you know that if you come out and if somebody that decides to out you as being same-sex attracted or gender diverse, you would be at risk of being expelled from school. This is what the recommendations apparently in the Ruddock Review that have been released this morning. And what's worse is that we know that Prime Minister Morrison is trying to hide that report from the Australian people in underhand ways, but it appears that Scott Morrison wants to go even further. He wants to entrench even further discrimination against LGBTIQ young people. Today is World Mental Health Day. We know that LGBTI young people have much higher rates of mental illness. They are at much greater risk of suicide. And the reason why is discrimination like this. This is, it is dangerous. This sort of discrimination and entrenching this discrimination is dangerous and is, would, is putting young people's lives at risk. We should be removing discrimination, not entrenching it. We've got some states that have removed such discrimination from their books. But if this recommendation was put into place, there would be federal legislation that would override that, those state laws, that would be entrenching further discrimination and putting young people's lives at risk.